They're one of the best-selling artists of all time. 18 number one singles and performing in 700 live concerts. And this fall, Queen is going back on tour. Well, sort of. It's the ultimate Queen tribute band, and a local musician is trying out. In tonight's special report, one man on a mission to achieve his dream, a national tour. Their history began in London. Their reach spanned the globe. And their future could be from Tulsa. I'm a mechanical engineer. Brian Gresh is trying out for the ultimate tribute band. Queen Extravaganza. Quit the day job, become a rock star. And I was like, oh, I always want to be a rock star. <laughs> He's one of hundreds who auditioned with an online video. That was very last minute when we found out about it, so uh, got it in like the night before it was due. Have you always wanted to do something like this? Oh yeah, ever since I picked up the guitar, I guess. He grew up around music, and for the past 12 years, he's tried to make it big, playing in 10 local bands. When I'm on stage with the guitar, I just... It brings out a different person inside of me. A side reminiscent of the pageantry of colored lights on a smoke-filled stage. A stark comparison to his blandly colored cubicle at the office. Yeah, I've been working here almost six years. I work. Every day of my life, I work to like my boss. Don't get me wrong, he loves his job, designing new parts for pipelines. We're in the new product development here. So did you design that? I did. Wicked smart. So is Queen's guitarist, Brian May. He is an astrophysicist. Both are multi-talented, but Brian can multitask. Yep, let's watch that again. A standing backflip while playing the guitar. It's moves like this that helped him make it to the final round of the competition. He was flown to L.A. to perform for original Queen drummer Roger Taylor. It's some very difficult decisions to make. It's, been, uh, it's quite tough, actually, because uh, you know, there have been some really talented people, and we can't take everybody, so you know, we have some tough decisions to make. One man, one goal. Did you have a feeling that you had a really good chance? Or how did you feel in the competition? <laughs> well, after the competition, after the right afterwards, I was like, uh, I just felt like, man, there's so much talent there. Yeah. It's just, and I, I felt like I hadn't performed my best. Another one bites the dust. So I was like, man, I don't, I don't think I really made it. And another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey. Feeling down with little chance of winning, but as quick as the tempo change in Bohemian Rhapsody. They emailed me and they said they're excited to uh, offer me a position in the band. It was just a dream come true, you know, to be on a, a U.S. tour and a, a big tour. I had a dream. When I was young. He's one of eight final band members, and in a few months, they're going on a national tour. Lips of hope and unity. Until then, they'll be practicing. Practicing that Brian could easily do in his home studio, but he prefers a more private setting. So what else do you do in here besides the normal things you might do <laughs> when, uh, in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I actually do a lot of practicing in the bathroom here. <laughs> so come this fall, he'll be out in front of thousands of Queen fans. In the meantime, he'd like a little privacy, please. Well, two dates for Queen Extravaganza have not been set yet, but it is expected for sometime this fall. As for Brian, if you'd like to watch his local band, Smunty Vogue, they're playing at the Treehouse at 18th and Boston on February 25th. That is next Saturday night.
He's good. I think yeah. he has a future. Yes, he yeah. is incredibly talented and so nice and soft-spoken and quiet. Mm, yeah. So it's weird seeing yeah. him in person and then him on stage. And, and Frank is jealous. I can tell. Oh well, I, mean, I know you love that music. You want to be a rock star. I know you oh, love that music. If I could have been anything, oh. it would have been a rock star. Yeah. What is yeah. your yeah. favorite Queen song? Oh, it's if you have one. Best friend, definitely. Yeah. But as a Queen fan, I enjoyed that story a lot, and he's Thanks. very talented. Good job. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about the weather now, as we have a high-definition Max 8000 up for you right now.